First up for a piece of the pie today is CloudStat developer Chu Kai Feng, whose statistical applications development tool claims to save time, money, increase productivity, and most importantly, reduce the stress level. Hi, my name is Chu Kai Feng. I'm from Unisig Bangsa, Malaysia's UKM's Bangis. I'm an ex actual student from UKM's. I'm currently developing a product called CloudStat. CloudStat is a cloud-based statistical software to let you analyze data at any way, any times. Before this, I have to analyze any data with a complex statistical software, which we have to use it in only laboratories in UKM. But now, we can do it just online. We can do it everywhere, any times. And then we can share with all our friends, our professors at the same times when we post the data. So why I have such ideas? As we said before, I have difficulties to use the statistical software because it's very expensive and we have to stick with our repertory in universities. So what we do is we make it online and then we can do analyze data at anywhere, anytime and using the high performing powers. So these are very innovative ideas and products because this will be can seen in US or Europe, not in yet in Malaysia. So we have a true cut similar products in market, so we think we can outbid them. We need some funding to for the hostings and some maintenance and hire some technical people. Yes, we have prepared all the market analysis, all the things, the presentations, and even the videos we have made to impress the investors to invest in us. Yes, we have very related with the market, so we can sure convince the investors to invest in our ventures. Is CloudStat the big data of the future? Will it get the nod of approval from our judges? Find out if his facts and figures add up when MyEG make the pitch returns. Hello, I'm Aisha Sinclair and welcome back to My EG Make the Pitch. Now, before the commercial break, we saw Chu Kai Feng, who is the creator of this web-based actuarial mock exam system called actuary.my. Now, he is confident that he has the solution to help web-based analytics consultants. Now, he's currently working on CloudStat and hopes that he can convince the judges with his claim that big data is the future. Let's see if the judges will agree that his facts and figures add up. Chiu Kai Feng, a web-based actuarial mock exam system programmer, is confident he has developed a superhighway of valuable web analytics that will make him and investors a lot of money. My fellow judges, my name is Chiu Kai Feng from CloudStat. CloudStat is a web version of the statistical software for you to analyze any data at anywhere, anytime across multiple platforms. This is what people know about CloudStat. In the process of building CloudStat, we have accidentally built a rapid prototyping algorithms mm. to empower our so services and the social medias and consultants is love our applications, our and even startup is request for our APIs to build their applications. So now I will show you how CloudStat works. Mm. These are our application building platforms. So these are our application building development platforms. These are backend coding. We just, to save time, I've prepared some codes. We just copy and paste to the coding platforms. We don't need to go to backends to do backend. We can do it right now. Mm. And the second big area is the interface. You can design your user interface right there. Because we have no time, we just put uh, import, import columns, input columns. And then now it's the titles. We 
making applications called Twitter listening apps. We want to know how public is talking about a certain issues, mm. or topics, or a companies. Mm. So we can deploy it and publish it immediately. CloudSet is not only for statistical software, we also is a application development platforms. You can build your applications, statistical applications to automate your data analysis, big data analysis with live data it immediately, it's easier, faster. So even though we are not really release our development platforms to public, mm -hmm. but we already close some clients. They already pay the recurring money subscriptions to us. Mm -hmm. They will host their applications in our proprietary statistical environments. We also charge them for the setup and the consultancy as another source of income. Who are your existing clients? Uh, now it's the uh, Fast Track Analytics, uh, Ablets, and next, next Monday we will meet with the New Street Times. Ah. Uh, what was your revenue model again? Uh, consultancy? Ah, no, the first one is a uh, subscription. They will host their statistical applications because they need a statistical environment to host that. Okay. Not, not the ordinary hosting can do it. All right, so okay, besides subscription? Uh, the the big, big clients like this, do you see consultancy just now? Uh, it's a, uh, like the white label solutions if we build for them or they just need the consultancy, we just white label. consult okay. them. That means you also do the development, uh, specific development lah yeah. for large clients. Yeah, you know, if they, they don't know how to build. They for example, Advalets, how, how are they paying you how, and how much? Their first time, <coughs> they are paying the first time fee is for developers and Twitter analytics systems, like the 6,000 something like that for the mm. first time setup. Mm. So you develop a customized solution for them or you just provide the APIs for them to call? Uh, they can use that but we develop for them because they pay the 6000 and then they will pay the hosting fee every month. Okay, you see data sources like Twitter, is the data sources open or you are still selected to Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, any data. Yeah, yeah any data. You're, you're calling Twitter native APIs? Yeah, it is a public Twitter API that we are using for this, this study case. So what if I want to do, uh, uh, for example, uh, yeah. I want to have a product name, uh, product ABC, and I want to look for emotive keywords like hate, love, fantastic, lousy. Sure, this is a sentiment analysis. Uh, sentiment analysis. Yeah, since so next <coughs> Monday we were talking about the new section is about a Malay sentiment analysis. Yeah, because the honesty you get is in Twitter and blogs, not survey. Survey people tend to be very nice. You know? Yeah. But the honesty in uh, people's sentiments on products, uh, on, on names of persons are in the blogs. Yeah. In the Twitter. Can you can, yeah, you can scrap a website and choose the keyword and trendings. Uh, so how much how much money do you need and what for? Uh it's four four hundred four one eight something. Four okay. four eight something the fifty percent mostly is the human resources because I'm a backend developer, so uh. our UX is very problems. The user experience, the user interface, the problems I need uh, use uh. are the and uh, some programmers to help and the technician, mm. the statisticians even to polish it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other half? Hmm? The other fifty percent? Yeah. We also need the server hosting. <laughs> oh. Because it's you uh, cannot find free server hosting. Uh? We currently using the we currently using the rack space. It's two two thousand US dollar per month. Wow. How many members are there in your team today? Two days. Uh, even the you consider the ex ex co-founder or what? No need. Sure, sure. Uh, just we just want to have a gauge of how many man hours it took to develop this platform. Okay, currently, if consider the ex co founders is three. If so, three of you developed it over the last four years? Uh, no, the developers is two. The ex co founder is just doing the business thing. I see. Mm. So, the business has been running for the last two years? Uh, no, we just developed it just for fun, not the business. So, why did the ex founder left? Uh, because he has a full commitment in the ex uh, actuary. Actually, because his mm. uh, salary is about 8,000 per month. Why he want to join this? So, he, he, so he didn't believe in this enough? Uh, not really. He he don't have full full commitment. Then we asked him to go out. <laughs> if I understood you correctly, you're saying that your clients would need to have an in-house statistician. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Can so, can, can so, you say like that? So what sort of companies? I mean, how, market, how, how, how many mm. how many of them do have in-house statisticians, and and what sort of companies are they? Uh, like the drug companies should have the statisticians to do their research. Mm. Do you have an idea how many companies are the, to the total possible market? Uh, for the business intelligence market like this, right, it's 30, 36 billion dollars. Yeah, but no, no, how many companies in Malaysia that, you know, size on the market like that you can going to attack to sell to? Oh, because, uh, yeah, let's see, you see, our current is taking for the small companies like the small consultancy firms. Mm. 
advertisement firms, new mm. New Straits Times, the newspapers like the agency. Like that, not many lah. No, Even but like but the I, I think that almost any company would want to have statistics on what yeah, the social media is talking the about them. Data analysis automations, business and intelligence yeah, automations. If, it, if it's cheap enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is they have to have a user who knows how to configure the... I know. After we customize it, you just put a keyword just like that. Or you yeah. just click, click, You're click. You're going to do that. You're going to put a uh, idiot uh, proof. Yeah. 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 We will customize for them if they pay for the consultancy and the uh, set up fee. What, what, does, what does the investor get for yeah, investing 400,000? 10 000. to 20%. Equity. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So how do you think the pitch went to, uh, in front of our panel? Yeah, we have done very well. Yeah. So we are, can impress the investors to invest in our ventures. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you prepared enough um, to convince our investors to make that decision? Yes, we have prepared very well. And they even suggest me to do more better. Alright, so what would be that one thing you learned you know, from the suggestions made by our panel? Yes, we will keep make the because we are doing the statistical analysis mm -hmm. in the clouds. They even suggest me to make it more sen uh, sentiments because uh, the idiot people can even use our business intelligence software. So more user friendly. Right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what are your your next steps from now? Yeah, next month we are going to Lebanon to pitch for the cloud step for the fifty thousand US dollars price. All right. <laughs>